Representative Orca, Democrats were able to push through a partisan 16-year, $17 billion transportation package that relies heavily on fees and ignores many parts of our state. Can you explain why you opposed it? You know, there are a lot of reasons why I opposed it, but I think what it boils down to is $17 billion over 16 years. That's a billion dollars out of the pockets of hardworking Washingtonians. And that's very concerning to me. And the way that they put this together is also very concerning. One side went around the state, never invited our side of the aisle to join in and going around the state and listening to what the needs were around the state. And then despite the fact that they went around the state, they still made it a fairly one-sided west side and actually more Seattle-centric package. And so it's very concerning the way it was put together, the amount that taxpayers are going to pay, the way that the taxpayers are going to end up paying. It's done in fees primarily, but then there's going to be increased costs on gasoline that won't directly be a tax, but it's the low carbon fuel standard, cap and trade. Those are all going to raise the cost of fuel and the money that they get from those increases in the cost of fuel are going to go to fund a variety of projects and that won't necessarily go to fund roads, even though it's being generated by usage of gasoline. And normally when you do a gas tax, that is going directly to roads as per the 18th Amendment to our state constitution. Not the least of which is the fact that we're only about six and a half years into a 16 year package and they're already running another one. So there are some fees that haven't even gone up yet from the previous package that are about to kick in this year. And then you've got a new package with new fees coming on top of that. So I think folks are really going to feel the pinch. They may not see it. It may not be as visible as it has been in the past, but they're certainly going to end up feeling the pinch. 